Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and welcome to Pathophysiology. These are going to be your first set of official notes, and we're going to start at the very beginning with what is pathophysiology, and we're going to look at the word, um, breaking it down into its root parts. So patho is from the Greek word pathos, uh, which means disease. So disease can be anything. Um, it could be a virus. It could be bacteria. It could be high blood pressure. It could be cancer. Uh, it could be congenital disease. We're going to use a virus for today's example. And then the second half of the word is physiology, uh, which is also a Greek root. And physiology means the study of normal body function. So just basically how your body works when everything is going correct. So when we put those words together, patho plus physiology, we're really going to be looking at the study of how disease affects normal body function. And so we're going to talk about that in a bunch of different ways over the course of the semester. But I want to keep talking about um, the word patho, because I think that you've heard the word patho outside of the words pathophysiology. So let's talk about pathology, because when you're watching TV, a lot of times you'll see on crime dramas, you'll see pathologists. So what does pathology mean? Well, let's break it down again. Path and ology. Path, again, means disease, and ology means the study of. So it's the study of disease. Um, and that's a branch of medical science that studies the causes and the effects of diseases on normal body function or on um, body body tissue. And so normally uh, we study pathology by using body tissues to diagnose and detect the disease. And that's going to be helpful because that diagnosis and detection is going to be used by your physicians to actually treat patients. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And you'll be looking at a lot of different body tissues or pictures of body tissues and we'll be talking about how those diseases are affecting the structures in the body and how that changes the function of the body. Um, we're really going to be talking about the process of pathophysiology, the disease process. And we're going to be addressing that by asking three questions pretty much all semester. So let's talk about those questions. Let's just get them out there right away. So the first question is, what is the underlying cause of the disease? And we have a word for that. Uh, the word is etiology, and it is also from a Greek root, um, etiology, and the Greek word is etia. So etiology, um, and that means cause, the etia means cause. So etiology just means cause of the disease, study of the cause of a disease. So the next question is, what are the actual mechanisms responsible for the disease? And specifically, we're going to look, what is the mechanism responsible for the onset of the disease, for the progression of the disease? And then we'll talk about recovery after that. And then the last question is, what mechanisms are responsible for symptoms of the disease. So when you're looking at different diseases and different case studies this semester, I want you to go back to these questions. Obviously, the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the cause of the disease. Then we're going to look at the onset of the disease, what actually led to that onset, then the progression, look at recovery. And then we'll start talking about how those symptoms are tied into that disease. So that's it for your very first set of notes. Um, I hope that they've been helpful. If you do have any questions, please come into tutoring or send me an email.